Hi everyone, this is DJ and Angie's Adventures. Welcome to the club, Wander. What's up, Wanderers? Here with another video. I'm going to talk about uh, some of the things that I wanted to, you know, well, so we talk, talk about this is a divergent video, but things to chill back and for us to talk about. As you see, you see our mic a little bit closer. It has a really good audio. So that's good. So let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about some of the things of uh, just people in general. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about some people who are in charge or in power in, in some sense, which is uh, talking about like managers or CEOs and stuff, which you realize that you would think with people with a lot of money, you would think they would have at least some kind of common sense or common decency, but it goes to where it's like, why are you doing this? And it gets very uh, frustrating. For example, like let's take Jeff Bezos, who actually at one point did, oh, I see, at one point who did uh, when people or, the, or workers would get COVID, he literally made it to where he wanted the workers to use their uh, checks or, the, or their paycheck to pay for part, pay for them leaving due to COVID. And that went all over the news and stuff. And it was talked about on YouTube, uh, on YouTube and news for outlets for all. It was so stupid. It was saying, why would you, uh, ask people to pay for someone else's uh covid when you have enough money for yourself to do it and that gets me every time i'm thinking like how can even you, you make money but then you take advantage of people and i understand i get it you you know make a business to where you manage to make money off of people through different uh, services and stuff, which is good, and I understand that, yeah. But it goes to a point where you're being inhumane, where you treat people just like animals or dogs, and saying, what are you doing? Like, huh? It makes no sense. And then and it comes the sense of people who are managed or in leadership roles, and they don't like, like a good leader at all. And it's very uh, frustrating. I'm thinking like, Yes, you're supposed to listen to you. Yes, so on and so forth. But then it comes to the sense of like, who put you here? And it's it's my mind boggling sometimes because I say you shouldn't be in this position because you're just terrible at it. You're just really terrible. And um, example, like some people who talk like scammers and. For, just for context, scammers, you know, they tell you this or this, and they tell you, oh, hey, you can pay for this, and do this, and whatever, so on and so forth, but then they say it into, like, a right manner tone, saying, oh, yeah, if you do this, A and B, and you're going to complete this, and they talk like if they're reading a script, and that's how some people in leadership talk like they talk like they're reading from a script where you can't take them seriously you just get aggravated or annoyed by it at least at least some people do because they know how how that tone of voice is and they treat people as if they're kids i'm thinking we're our grown-ass people do you really think we need some grown-ass man telling us what to do for instance some uh i heard some manager made up some room called the detention room for their employees i'm thinking like what are you doing huh i'm like i'm thinking what are you, what and then it comes to a sense like what what's going on you also have no structure you're trying to maintain people so instilling fear into people is how you control people i don't i, I don't i don't understand that and that's very uh concerning and it's it, it is it's concerning you're gonna start put fear in people so they can listen to you do you think that if there's fear there's there the productivity or people working around you are not gonna do the job because they're too scared of messing up i don't know i'm just a black man giving advice who won't listen to me mm -hmm. but 
Uh, I shall have to transform. <laughs> but, but it does come to a, but it's something to think about. Why does people use fear to control people? And you can see it all the time on the, on the internet or out there on, or, or, or on the internet or out there in, or in real life. People don't think being nice makes you have some sense of control. No, because we've been th taught through our life or throughout society that fear is the main control around people. You gotta gri grip them to be scared. If they're scared of you, they'll listen to you. That's not, no, that's not. Personally for me, I don't trust that philosophy and I don't believe in that. Personally for me, no. You have to go to the sense of saying, how about if we treat people how the way they should be treated, then yes, that's going to be, you know, that's, a, that's the right way to do it. And there's so many more CEOs and companies I'm talking about. So I'm probably talking about Jeff Bezos. It's only because, you know, he used to be the richest man in the world. Now he's not because Elon Musk passed him with Tesla and whatnot, which for your information, Tesla wasn't. Uh, Elon Musk, uh, the Tesla idea wasn't Elon Musk. It was actually another guy who designed, which I'll grab the, I'll put the information uh, in the video right here of the guy who actually made, who actually created the Tesla car. So we should give credit to him, credit to him. Anyway, but um, it's, it just comes sense of these people in power and they think that they are above a person or I'm saying no you're no you're not if we take away your money and your power and just strip them away from you you're just a normal person and, and nothing makes you really special only thing that makes you special is really money all that makes us only thing that makes you out there from everyone else if you take that money away you're just like everyone else As a matter of fact you aren't like everyone else you just have money but since you have all this money money makes you do Stupid shit. It is. Money does make you do stupid shit and you do stupid stuff. And it comes to another consensus of between class, you know, class and race. I know I don't get political here because this is the age in these YouTube channels. We're not going to get a part of that. But we're going to talk about how does, yes, how does that affect it? Because it does affect it. Even in the workplace, people do treat you. In a certain way, not all, not all, but some do. Some treat you in a certain way just because you look like this, or you have that much money, or the way how you talk. You talk with a slang, like y'all, or <laughs> how you do, or you know, something like that. And they're gonna treat you in a certain way because they think that you're hood or from the. <laughs> ghetto and stuff is that true no you can be a most intelligent person person in there but yeah you might have a slang you used to talk in that way is it the correct way to talk well that is that that that, that depends on where you are at, at, at you know at a location or a place or whatever but in some senses you know people in power or not power in higher up think that oh they talk this way so they must be stupid and that's wrong that's wrong. As, as, as um, some of you know, you know, just a half speech impediment, people cannot make fun of me. If I report them, they get in big trouble or they usually get called up, called up by HR because I have a speech impediment. Speech impediment is a part of who I am. It's like how Angie has uh, autism. That's a part of who she is. Someone is treating her wrong in a certain way talking about her and this of autism and saying rude remarks which person for me if someone makes remarks about that I just think you're the scum of the earth if you're talking about someone about their about 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 their disability when it comes down to autism Tourette's uh uh of course speech impediment down syndrome is a whole list is a whole list that goes down and down but if you talk to pop pop people who are like that make fun of them then you are scum of the earth and 
and that is a form of form of discrimination. Just like a person saying working working a job is like, oh, I don't like you because you are, you know, black, Asian, Mexican. That goes same. F- Oops, sorry. Uh, that goes the same for people who are of people who have a this you know a disability they can't talk about you like that or they'll lose their job because it's a part of you that's a part of who you are most are talking table uh we have our gaming well, point four you can't see it but our gaming thing is over there that's where we play games and stuff was our talking table oops my man but our talking table so we're going to use this a lot we're going to sit down and talk have conversations about things that are going on what's up you know because the ventures we want to give our opinion it's a mutual opinion it's a mutual we're not taking signs on this and this and this no it's mutual we're gonna have a good discussion about it you know and to where that we're gonna keep go we're gonna keep going at it to keep building up you never know we might have people over to come with a discussion with us to mix ideas or just be kind of fun so you know yeah but again thank you for watching and thank you for and, 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 oh, yeah thank you for clicking and watching and as always like share and subscribe i think you know i have to remember just keep saying that I'm, you know we're still getting used to this but you know like share and subscribe and and, and as always you know, check out other videos and of course have a great day see you guys